Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a, another video. Uh, in this one we're going to be talking about where to use C++ and when to use blueprints because although C++ is a great language and everything, there are admittedly times where it's just, you just gotta use blueprints, right? Uh, or at least it would be stupid uh, to not use blueprints. So I'm someone that loves C++. Um, I've always loved C++. I learned C++ a number of years ago now, and ever since, it's always been like my favorite way to write logic and and scripts and things like that. But with that being said, there are times in the Unreal Engine where it is literally just stupid uh, not to use blueprints. So in this uh, short little video, I'm just going to go over some times when it would make sense to use blueprints and when it would make sense to use C++. So if you didn't know, Unreal Engine offers two ways to script games. We have the visual scripting, which is the blueprints, and then we have the coding or programming or C++. Now blueprints are slow and I don't really have an exact figure, but I do remember going on the uh, the Unreal forum and I remember seeing a figure that was something along the lines of 20 times slower or something like that. Now 20 times slower might seem absolutely ridiculous uh, but you, you have to understand that some logic might only take 5 milliseconds to be called and so in that case 20 times slower would only be 100 milliseconds which is still only you know one tenth of a second so there are cases where it's actually not a big deal even though it is a lot slower to execute. And in fact, most of the time, any good computer can get away with running a Blueprint scripted game. Uh, blueprints are far less intimidating than C++. They are a lot easier to learn. C++ has a lot of um, intricacies, lots of like little detailed things that... You know, I, I, um, I first learned C++ probably three years ago now. And I can still say I know so little about the language like there is still so much uh, to learn there's so many different libraries and you'll just you'll honestly just never know it all there's just so much to C++ so for a beginner it's like blueprints are a pretty obvious uh, choice but with that being said there is a lot of power to C++ um, so blueprints are great for logic that are use, is used sparsely and what I mean by sparsely is it's not called very often. So uh, I'll explain this a little bit more in the next slide, but when you're not calling your logic very often, when it's not actually being used that often, it's okay to use a blueprint and we can get away with blueprint scripting. Um, so now for the, the C++ side. So C++ is really fast. Um, I mean, this is obvious, right? With visual scripting, uh, the the visual scripting has to be broken down and interpreted and it's just gonna it's a much longer process uh, with C++ we're working with pure code that can be compiled straight away um, very very powerful stuff uh, one big thing about C++ is there is far less support and documentation than blueprints so you might be working with a C++ um, function right and the Unreal Engine and you'll think to yourself, huh, I wonder what this parameter does, or I wonder what overloads there are of this function. And so you'll go and look it up, and good luck. <laughs> Unless it's a very common function, you're not going to find a lot. So the documentation for C++ is pretty bad. They might give you like some really basic stuff, but they won't explain how to use the function and things like that. So uh, that is one thing. Uh, where it is good though, where it is really really powerful and will beat blueprints every time is logic that is executed frequently. And you can get away with using like expensive calculations if you're using C++, but if you're doing blueprints everything has to be, you know, done in an efficient manner if you're executing it frequently. So, if something is called every tick, um, it is bad. So say you're calling a function every frame. So if the player is running at 60 frames per second, you are calling your function 60 times per second. 
this is where you're going to start to notice uh, C++ beats blueprints a little bit. Um, and in the next slide I'm going to go into some more things. So let's talk a little bit about that. What I want to stress is don't lean towards either C++ or blueprints. There are people who are like religious, gotta use C++, gotta use C++, it's, it's better hands down. And then there are people that say, no, C++ is horrible, it's too hard, and you have to use blueprints. And what I want to explain in this slide is, you really don't have to go with either one. Both have their uses, and there's really nothing wrong with learning both. And in fact, if you do start out on C++ and you start to learn blueprints later, blueprints really aren't that hard once you get the concepts. Once you like understand stuff like what a variable is, what a function is, all that stuff, and you start to use blueprints, you'll realize you're just doing that, but on a visual level. Um, and after a while, like when I first started learning the Unreal Engine, I hated blueprints. I, I really dislike using blueprints. Um, but after a while, like use them enough and you will actually begin to enjoy blueprint scripting. Uh, but anyways, where are some examples of where each could be used? Because, you know, they're, they're useful for their own things, but where do, we, where do they come into their, their own? Well, here are some examples of blueprints that I have here. First one, a trigger box that takes the player to another level. Think about this, right? How often is the player going to be taken to another level? Not very often. You know, maybe you'll switch levels once every 10 minutes. Um, you know, that's completely okay to use blueprints in that case. If we're only calling a blueprint function once every 10 minutes, like, that's perfectly okay. The next one I have here is a lamp that flickers once every 5 to 20 seconds. That is perfectly okay to use. You know, it, it's perfectly fine to call blueprint logic once every 5 to 20 seconds because yeah, sure, blueprints may be 20 times slower, but when you're only calling your, your function every 5 to 20 seconds, it just doesn't matter anyway. And then finally, a switch that a player can turn on or off. How often is the player going to be turning a switch on or off? Probably not that often. The player might switch the, the uh, switch maybe, I don't know, once or twice in the level, you know. Um... And so for that reason, again, we can use blueprints, it's not a big deal, we can get away with that. Here are some examples of where C++ starts to actually make a lot of sense. Uh, the first example here I have is a machine gun that fires ray casts every 50 milliseconds. So, say you have a machine gun and it has an extremely fast rate of fire, um, and for every bullet that you shoot, you need to cast a ray cast, see if you hit anything, and then execute some more code based on whether it hit or not, or something like that. Um, in that case, it makes a lot of sense to use C++. That's going to require a lot of calculating. That's going to require a lot of different um, uh, lines of code and, and lots of different logic. And blueprints, in that case, might not be fast enough. Right? Well, they might be fast enough, but only on a good computer or, you know, something that's really powerful. So, in that case, it would make sense to use C++. Uh, logic that needs to be called inside of the tick function. So, I went into this a little bit, but if we are calling something every tick or every new frame, it makes a lot of sense to use C++ for it. Now... If it's something really, really simple, like every tick, uh, we want to like, I don't know, do a really simple basic calculation or something like that, you could get away with using blueprints. Um, but say every tick, you want to like get the player's position and then check it against other players' positions and then like get a distance or like you know some sort of calculation. Uh, it would make a lot of sense to use C++ because C++ just has that power. It is compiled really, really fast, and that's why we uh, need to use it. The last thing that I have here is anything that requires a lot of calculations. So, um, the, uh, because we're using a game engine, right? Because we're using Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine takes care of a lot of those deep level calculations. So there's actually not a lot of times where it's incredibly useful. There's not really a lot of times where we need to do a lot of calculating, but 
in those cases where we do need to calculate a lot of stuff, it makes a lot of sense to do it in C++ and not blueprints. Anyways guys, uh, I know this wasn't an incredibly long one, but hopefully it was useful. Hopefully you guys now sort of get where to use C++, where to use blueprints, um, you know, the, the differences and things like that. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video.